Hey Queens, so I noticed that I went up to 97 subscribers and I was wondering at like 100 if you guys were interested in a giveaway. Now I don't know exactly what kind of giveaway. I know I talked about it before like in two videos and such that I planned on doing giveaways, those didn't happen. Um, but if you did watch the Altec Lansing speaker review, I did mention that for that one. Like it was going to be a specific Mr. Robot one and I am thinking about doing that since the June 13th, sorry, um, a release date for season 2 is coming soon and I was thinking of like maybe doing a giveaway of season one on Blu-ray or like something like that. I'm not exactly sure again because um, that again is based on like specifically for Mr. Robot, any type of material with that and any other information that I get and kind of like figure out and stuff and that I can tell you guys about. Um, obviously that will be kind of for more separate videos as we do get closer to season two premiere. And also I think if you have watched my channel, if you are like one of my original subscribers, you know that I usually talk about fragrances. So I'm like, of course I will give out some kind of fragrance, but then also as you've seen me evolve, you know, I got into like sunglasses and jewelry and such. So I'm kind of thinking of like doing like almost of a luxury giveaway, like if I can find like a really good goodie basket but I also did want to ask you guys do you want one like a major kind of gift basket giveaway so to speak or do we want two separate ones like one for like men and one for women where I can find like a men's scent like a woman's scent if that's how it rolls with you but of course I'm open to suggestions and ideas of course from like 100 150 and then I was also thinking like eventually um like at specific milestones like 100 200 300 or whatever and such um kind of like up the price or you know whatever of like the prizes that you you can win you know I don't know kind of thinking about those but I was thinking like you know what a hundred I mean I've been on YouTube for like I think maybe four years so I was like you know I think it's time to kind of give back to you guys who have been watching and such like that and um again I did review Alien by Terry Mugley already if you haven't seen that video please do watch it um, but like a little few things that I also do want to get into is also the Jeffree Star lip scrub. I'm so excited I'm going to be meeting Jeffree Star. If you want to see a vlog on that, like me, like hanging out with him and stuff, of course, tell me about it. I did review the lip scrubs as well. I've been enjoying Ariana Grande's Dangerous Woman. Um, this is the Target edition, even though it doesn't look like it, but it does have like Step On Up and Jason's song on the back, but it has like a different cover, which totally threw a lot of people off and such. Um, I found this EOS thing, which I also thought would be cool for a giveaway if I can go back to the store and get another one. It's a lip balm, this, and a lotion. The lotion is really cool. And I think it was like $8.99, the regular price of those. Like, if you were to buy it at the store, it's going to be like, I don't know, like maybe $20. And then I got this keychain for Alex through the Looking Glass. It is Chester, and oh my god. I'm so excited for that movie. Again, I talked about this one, Bulgari scent. I still have it. If you guys want to see a review, please leave it down in the comments. Um, I try to, like, read through every comment. So I know I haven't been on for, like, almost, like, a week and a half that I haven't done a video and I finally got it um like in the video I didn't forget to like just tell you guys if like oh you know like if you see it um but this is a hand lotion that I'm always talking about Ahava this is a mineral hand cream so amazing EOS hand cream I'll use it in a pinch like if I don't have it but I don't like any other hand cream but that one Bath and Body Works is like okay and such to use but like I feel like that specific one I don't know, it just works for me. It is a bit pricey, I believe. It used to be like 20 and then it was like 22 and then 24 25 You can get it at Ulta, HSN. Um, I have seen some Mahava products pop up at Target, like the dry oil sprays and such. I don't know if they'll ever carry the lotions, but of course, Ahava.com, um, Ebates and such like that. I have the other Bulgari scent that I had also got. This one was Jasmine Noir. Um, love the scent. And I also did get a new pair of sunglasses, of course. Um, they're not Ted Baker, but quick sneak peek of that. You want to see like a little review or whatever in those? Um, please leave the comments. Like this video. Tell me on any kind of social media. And again, if you follow me, follow me on social media, um, just tell me like, hey, I'm from YouTube and I'll like follow you back or something or Instagram or like my Facebook page, please. And such like that. And just tell me, you know, so I can like, you know, know who the fan from YouTube is, you know. I'm trying to get back into this. But again, um, jewelry of the day. I don't think I ever like... I think I forgot to say certain things in videos that had become so routine and also since I hadn't filmed for a week. I was watching American Horror Story and such and then the car crash and stuff. Again, if you do want to see an In Bed with Pedro or like some kind of story time and such, uh, please do tell me down in the comments. I am doing much better. Um, gonna go see like doctors and such. The car is hopefully gonna get fixed. There is a lot of hail damage here down in like South Texas and stuff. You can look it up online. Like, it was major hail damage, and um, there's just a lot of cars and body shops and such, so getting my car in hopefully will happen. 
Of course, we don't know how that's going to go, but um, I healed it pretty well. My mom and I just have some recurring kind of like injuries or such like that. But aside from that, we are here. We we're fine. And I did see that Jeffree Star did get into a car crash. Also, they did hit him as he was turning. Like, they hit us. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, it's crazy. And I was like, there are so many crazy drivers also. I mean, I'm kind of like one of them, but I'm not that crazy. Like, people, you know, like swerving into lanes. Like, obviously going like 80 and such. And like, you know, like going way too fast and stuff. But um, I don't know. Just... That's kind of like besides the point of this video, but I just wanted to give you that little like six minute intro, you know, not talk so long, but again, jewelry of the day, Madonna Swarovski necklace, and then of course the Versus by Versace watch, you can watch that review, I know that one got like so many views, I was so surprised that so many people saw it, but I guess it's so different, because I know when I looked it up, like it was just like people like dumping it out and be like, oh, you know, like I think they're like more Asian people, I don't know. Um, but the fragrance today that I want to review um, is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue for Men. I actually do have a towel that came with this, like a gift with purchase. And can I talk about the lighting, like showing you my blemishes? Like, ugh. Um, I'm like, how shiny am I? <laughs> um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Men. As you see, I have used a lot of it. I've had this one for a while. Um, I did get like a towel, like gift with purchase. I ripped the thing. And I've never used a towel and stuff, but like because the thing is ripped, I was like, that would make such a good gift. But I ripped it reorganizing like the luxury items that I own. Because, like, I had all the sunglass boxes and such, and, you know, Versace, Bulgari, whatever. And I was, like, moving them around, and then, like, I guess I picked it up too fast, or I don't know. And, like, the outside rip, like, the towel is fine. It says Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Men. It's somewhere. I couldn't find it right now. But I know it's, if it, I, it has to be in my closet, and if not, then it's someplace else that I have to go look. And if you kind of want me to give that away, I can do that, you know. I mean, it's a towel. I could use it, but I don't. I feel like I wouldn't use it, you know, like I, I haven't used it and I was like, I might as well like give it away or something, you know, so you kind of wanted me to do like a little random giveaway, a little chink about a light blue towel, I can do that and then I can also like, you know, try to find like a fragrance to give away with it, depending on who the winner is and if they're like men or women, you know, um, but again, Dolce chink about a light blue for men, for all. and this one is the 40 mil, so this is the 1.3 ounce, so it's kind of like the smaller bottle so to speak you know kind of like the medium sized bottle like 1 1.7 it's kind of standard how things run and then sometimes you can get into like i think 6.9 and 9.8 ounce fragrances oh so good i remember i did use this one for a while like a hot minute um my brother got it and it was so good and again a little interruption beside the point of the fragrance review um talking about blemishes one thing that has really helped is this mario badeshi drying lotion i know johnny drew bell was talking like about like oh i need like acne help like summer acne and stuff he's from rich kids of beverly hills i did want to recap that episode if you did watch one of my older vlogs and such and i want to recap this season and stuff but i'm like i think it's a little too late for me you know but i don't know i like talking about shows but getting back to the fragrance um this is dolce and gabbana light blue Pearl. so i'm on the website for dolce and gabbana and one thing before I get into that, at Ulta, the price right now for the 2.5 ounce is $66. So is it a little bit pricey, so to speak? Yes, the 1.3, 1.35 ounce is 54 Now, I don't remember um, how much this one was because I think it was like a big bottle. It's 4.2 and 6.7. So this doesn't run your usual standard size bottles of 1, 1.7, and 3.4. So again, you have 1.35, 2.5. 4.2 and 6.7 which is super size so going back to it 1.35 ounces a small bottle will be $54 2.5 ounces will be $66 4.2 ounce will be $86 6.7 super size will be $115 again these prices are at Ulta Macy's will probably run around the same you know there's probably only like a maybe a three to five dollar difference again dependent upon where you get it but because Father's Day is coming up in June I believe I want to say June 17th, but I could be wrong. Um, there's going to be a lot of gift sets. There's going to be a lot of specials, a lot of gifts with purchases. And I know um, I also got like this kind of like a travel luggagey kind of a bag. But it wasn't for this scent. It was for like something else. But like that's all they had. And they gave me that and stuff. And sometimes they have soccer balls, you know, just depends on which store you go to. Like Macy's, Dillard's, Ulta, some... Sephora, rarely, but they can, will have a gift of purchase. Again, just be smart, shop for your money. Um, don't be kind of like, 
swindled into buying a fragrance when they say like oh this is like the gift set but like everything is kind of paid separately and they just like build the gift set price actually look for a gift set where you are saving money and getting more for your money and also getting a gift for purchase and then they say they don't have something um tell them can they give you another gift to purchase from a different fragrance from a different designer and be like look i'm paying this much money you know i kind of like deserve to get something most of the time they should give it if they don't then you know kind of just don't buy the fragrance there and go to the other store you know even though you may say oh that's like a lot of trouble and stuff i mean if you really want like a gift for purchase or something you know get it i mean you deserve it but getting back into it on the dolce and gabbana website it says the concept so dolce and gabbana light blue pour Om, pure mediterranean sensuality by dolce and gabbana Light Blue Pour Ulm is made for the Dolce & Gabbana man. Sensual and modern, he likes to take care of himself, enhancing his healthy body with sports. The perfume captures the fresh, spicy, and sensual scents of the Mediterranean, which he feels the perfect playground for seduction, says Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana. So, right off the bat, this low-key reminds me of Versace Eros for men, but of course, totally different scent. There are several similarities in, like, elements of the fragrance itself, but I wouldn't say there's like, oh, this note and this note and that note that are like, okay, you're going to smell this note that you smell here. Not entirely true. But the design also of the bottle, they say the flacon, flacon, I don't know how you say that. Um, for Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Homme, blends the class classicism of the shape that evokes the renowned bottle of Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme with the moder modernity, is that even a word? <laughs> and the freshness of a frosted glass and a sky blue cap. So... The campaign, like they say, was two lovers. I'm pretty sure we've all seen it. Um, I believe he is the guy that came out in Jennifer Lopez's I Love Ya Papi video, music video. Like, he comes out of the blue, like, that iconic look that he has. And they're, like, two lovers, and they turn in course and whatever. And they say, what else? They have deodorant sticks, aftershave lotions, of course, different sizes, aftershave balm, shower gels, deodorant spray. That's new for me. And that's kind of the whole collection. They do have a limited edition 2016 Love and Capri. And of course, there is a woman's version of this scent. And now let's get into the fragrance. So what they have here on the fragrance on the website for Dolce & Gabbana as the top heart and base notes are top notes, refreshing bergamot, juicy sun-drenched Sicilian mandarin, and a clean set of frozen grapefruit peel and aromatic juniper. Mediterranean lightness is what it's described as. The heart has aromatic rosemary, the subtle spice of Sichuan pepper, and sensual rosewood, which is embodying strong masculinity. And the base is an understa understated blend of American muskwood, incense, and oak moss that together gently establish the signature sensual scent, and that is innate sexiness. So, we have the Mediterranean lightness, which is going to be a little bit airy, a little bit classic, so to speak, and it's going to be very... I think comforting and almost sensual as you get into like you know like the base of the scent like it's just opening up something kind of like lighting a candle by the beach or something and then your strong masculinity which is the heart of the scent i believe that is basically saying like once you light the candle it's kind of like foreplay i guess <laughs> and then the in it sexiness is like the base you know like after you just finish having like a wild sex night or something i don't know kind of like it made like you guys are like, what kind of a set are you reviewing? <laughs> but I mean, that's what I'm kind of like trying to think of. You know, whatever. So, refreshing bergamot, Sicilian mandarin, frozen grapefruit peel, juniper, rosemary, Sichuan pepper, rosewood, American muskwood, incense, oak moss. That is a lot of fragrance notes, so to speak. So... Smelling this off the top of my head, I've never really gotten like an incense smell, but now that I do read incense, I'm like, okay, I think that is more of like that sandalwoody kind of smell. You know, it's kind of like when you smell like a melon scent and you kind of like think of like, oh, oh that's like cucumber, you know, like I would say we be kind of, we've become accustomed to like having an umbrella term for certain like fragrance notes. So again, Kind of like with Paris Hilton's for men. Um, I'm looking at all my fragrances just for those who don't usually watch me. Um, and uh, let's see which other fragrance kind of has like a cucumbery note to it. Well, Amazing Grace by Philosophy has like a certain like Lysol smell, so to speak. If you have Jennifer Aniston, the original one, the yellow one, the clear bottle, the yellow liquid, I would say 
you can find a similarity in this scent where you kind of have like that sandalwood scent. And when I say sandalwood scent, it's like an umbrella term again, like saying with a cucumber melon smell, like it could be more melon than it is cucumber. Because also when I did review Paris Hilton's for men, which you can watch that review also, there was like kind of no like cucumber note in it. It was more like just melon, melon, melon. But we are kind of just like recognizing that specific note in any fragrance that has that note as cucumber. Like, oh, it smells like cucumber. Oh, it smells like cucumber because we always smell cucumber melon to have a very distinct smell. Like it's a smell that's kind of universally known, so to speak. And I think that's what happens with Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for men. And again, also with Jennifer Aniston's. And I know there are a couple other like beach scents. So I would say any scent that you do think of like as a beach scent that has any sort of sandalwood smell is going to be a mixture of like very almost exotic tropical masculine scents mixed in with maybe like you know musks and woods and such like that but I think to be more appealing to like the customers and like not too much of an adventurous fragrance that you know like maybe like with Alien by Terry Mouglet or some other sense, like, it's not going to be too much of, like, a cult classic where even though it will sell well either based on the brand or just because people who really love the fragrance and such, but something that they know, like, is really going to be a big hit with men overall. And, of course, some women, and, of course, I'm one who wears men's and women's scent, so I appreciate any scent really, and I'll mix them with something if I can make my own fragrance. And with Dolce & Gabbana Light Blues for Men, I usually mix that one again with Jennifer Aniston since they do have similarities. Um, I'll mix it with Closer by Halle Berry, and sometimes I will layer it with um, Aqua de Joya by Giorgio Armani. I'll kind of like spray Aqua de Joya on my neck or something, and then I'll kind of do like a Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue like on my shirt or something. So it kind of has like that very strong mix of masculine and feminine. Or you have something airy, almost like a mint water smell from Aqua de Joya mixed in with that masculine kind of sandalwood smell and you know it kind of mixes in something good and of course when you get into the summer months like because the scent evaporates faster as your body temperature rises and such like it's going to be a very potent almost strong scent that just radiates off your body and also when you pass by people it's going to catch them by the eye and of course when you mix scents it's going to be like a very unique mixture and you're like oh what is that scent you know and you're going to be like well this isn't like a scent scent but like you know i created it myself and also you can share with other people like oh this is a good scent and stuff and tell them to watch my review but again getting back into it smelling it from the bottle i've never really thought of incense to be in here oak moss and muskwood of course like i thought like musks and woods also when they do say rosewood and then they do say kind of like and juniper i was like okay and bergamot now bergamot i always think of like tonka bean and such where you kind of have like a hybrid chocolate vanilla smell but it's not like a true chocolate it's not a true cho um vanilla smell that's mixed together as kind of like somewhere in the middle but not completely so it does have a very unique smell to it but like the notes that one is familiar with are going to be chocolate vanilla now i don't really pick up those smells smelling it through here but um with rosewood i will say like if you've ever smelled like those scents that do say um something cactus and rose you know those kinds of smells where it's like like a haba's dry oil if you've ever come across that one or other ones those do also have very unique smells where it's kind of like a dry almost you can smell like the moisture in the dry desert air so to speak i i don't know if these descriptions will really help you with such and fragrances that probably may have that i would say amazing grace by philosophy like the texture of the smell when you do smell it i think that like lysol -y kind of a clean smell is what is somewhat of rosewood and also somewhat of that sandalwood smell again closer by Halle berry i would probably say the unbreakable line by chloe lamar mm probably say unbreakable joy i believe that is the red bottle if not then it's love but you know one of those two the red bottle from chloe and lamar i will say that fragrance and again looking at versace eros you will get just a hint of that sandalwood smell from versace eros but versace eros to me kind of has like a chocolatey tobacco-y almost cigarette -y smell it's very luxurious and it's very like 
I guess the embodiment of masculinity here for Versace, where there's also the bottle did reflect like the sea and such like that. And that is kind of how the campaign goes. But of course, the light blue, they're coming out of the ocean and stuff. So this one is more like of a skin scent, as with Jennifer Aniston's, where you are going to more have, again, that beachy kind of a smell with the sandalwood and the salt air and the salt water kind of mixing together. So going back into it, not really picking up the frozen grapefruit grapefruit the mandarin and probably not truly the incense but i do get like the feel of incense but i do think in my mind i am thinking like oh that's like a sandalwood smell so getting into spraying the fragrance top note was very strong almost had like a mixture between the alcohol but I do think it is the, I really do think the citrus notes really do pop out at you in like the first 15 to 30 seconds. They are going to be very dominant on top of like the rosewood and such. Where that Amazing Grace by Philosophy and Jennifer Aniston smell kind of are mixed together where I would say like, it's like if you spray Lysol in a room of oranges, you are going to have that very distinct Lysol original smell. Like that clean linen smell that we're all used to layered on top of like a very like subtle citrus and as it develops you are going to smell the texture of the fragrance kind of get a little bit grittier now when i do say grittier citrus scents are always very sharp they're always very clean they're always very airy and sometimes like with these descriptions they can be a little bit juicy and they can be frozen and i do think with like the frozen peel of course Oranges themselves and orange peels have two very distinct smells. The smell of like oranges, like, like the part that you're eating, like the pulp, so to speak, of the fragrance, would be very juicy, very Beyonce heat rush. You know, it's going to be very sugared and kind of processed, so to speak, where it smells like a syrup. And then with like the way you zest with orange zest and such, those are going to have more like of a, a patchouli kind of factor to them, where it does have that very distinct orange smell to it. But because it is like the skin of the orange and it is like exposed to the elements, it is a bit more weathered. It is going to smell a little bit more earthier, so to speak. And that's why I do say if you've ever smelled patchouli and like more of the pure jasmine smells, like they are very heavy and very potent and they're very like dirty, earthy smells. And when I say dirty, I don't mean like ill dirty, but like, you know, like they just smell like the earth to you. That scent does carry on, and I do think the rosewood comes out first, because I would say, kind of thing of Valentino's, I want to say rose bomb, but I know it's not called rose bomb. It's like something rose or something. I think the sweetness, almost like how sometimes I do say like a cherry wood and whatever, you know, where not only does it have like the color in the wood, but it's like, there's a certain sweetness, and that's why I say like pink pepper and like cactus, if you think of like Britney Spears' fantasy where... It's like sweet, it's cupcake, but there is that very peppery top note to it. Like, it's very easily missed and I think overlooked in certain situations. And I have reviewed Britney Spears' Fantasy, the original, but I, I do think with this specific fragrance, the rosewood kind of sweetens the sandalwood and kind of sweetens with the citrusy kind of mandarin smell, where it isn't like a lime or like a lemon that they're using in this fragrance, where it would smell too much like lemon pledge or something. <laughs> But it is smelling like a very sharp, clean wood, like beach house in the Mediterranean, of course, in like Italy or like maybe even Spain. I want to say they're in the same country, but I don't really know right now. You guys, I do film these videos at like 3, 4, 5, 6 in the morning and I'm like, I edit them and then I just upload them. So if there's any mistakes or anything, I'm going to let little insider for you guys. <laughs> And again, I think that is like the Sichuan pepper, you know, talking about that pink peppery smell from like a Britney Spears. I think the Sichuan pepper and the rosewood mixed together with the rosemary are adding in like a very subtle, sweet and spicy smell. So if you ever had like the taste of like a mango salsa, it's like the sweetness of the mango will hit you first and then the spice comes after it. So we are getting eased into from like the mandarin and the grapefruit and the juniper that are very sharp. They're very like ginger patchouli kind of smells where... They do have a citrus aspect to them, but they are going to start spicing up a bit because it's like when you bite into ginger, it's tart, it's soury kind of a smell, 
but it has a spicy taste to it. And grapefruit and mandarin, of course, are very citrusy. They're very fresh or juicy. They're kind of... Mm, how can I explain it? I think it would be the opposite of Britney Spears' fantasy where that cupcake accord and such you're getting introduced to first where those very like sugary notes will kind of like a little bit disappear you know those fruity top notes like the Beyonce heat rush not saying that it does smell exactly like those but like the idea and the concept of how they structure those fragrances will be reversed where you are going to get like the sweeter kind of citrusy notes just to open it up just give you a fresh opening to kind of give you something that you're used to and then get into that umbrella term sandalwood smell which again is a mixture I believe of the citruses coming into rosemary, pepper, and rosewood. And again, I think those three blends of rosemary, pepper, and rosewood, it's kind of like if you walked into a wooden home or like you've, I'd probably say to best explain it is like pine trees. Kind of like, it's a very distinct wooden smell. And if you add a sweetness to it and like a citrus, it eases into it. So it's not too strong where it's going to like clear your sinuses, so to speak, you're going to be like, whoa, like Christmas tree season. But you are going to come into a very subtle sweetness, which again, it does say the subtle spice of Sichuan pepper and sensual rosewood. Then as we come into the base, they do say American muskwood, again, another wood, incense, and oak moss. Now, again, I was like, I didn't think of incense at all, smelling it from the bottle, smelling it here on my arm. I don't truly like think of incense, but if you've ever smelled incense like from the stick, I do think that is what they're talking about. As opposed to like, you know, the smokier, chalkier, ashier smell of burning incense that you're letting sit out for a while. So again, if you think of incense like fresh out the box, like opening it up from like its little packaging, that is the kind of incense that they are talking about. Now with American muskwood and oak moss, I would say there would have had to been a musk. Obviously, in most fragrances, you will always see a musk. That is basically the glue that is going to hold a fragrance together. And muskwood, I think, mixed in with oak moss, it's going to be giving you that kind of a humid, fresh factor, so to speak, where it's kind of like you just showered, again, like outside the Mediterranean, you know, you're clean, you took a warm shower, you have like foggy mirrors and you're going out into like the humid, salty beach air and you are getting that whiff of like the salt water and you are getting the whiff of like your beach house. Again, that sandalwood smell creeping up on you. I would say the Sicilian mandarin and frozen grapefruit peels with the juniper are gonna be like stuff that's inside a drink. So again, it's kind of like a very refreshing smell but it isn't going to hit you in the face and be so strong as opposed to something that is like kind of a straight up sandalwood smell that's going to be like, whoa, you know, like it's not going to like cut through your nostrils or you're like, that scent's too strong. No, no, no. This is going to ease into each layer of the fragrance. And again, getting into layers, if you don't really know how fragrances are structured, again, as explained, top, heart, base. So the top notes, like I said, first couple seconds, maybe the first couple of Minutes are the more, most kind of short-term notes of the fragrance where you're going to smell them, again, right away when you spray it and a little bit after. They can linger for a while, you know, they'll come up once in a while, but usually those are the fragrance notes that are just like, you know, they're, they're gone. And then the heart notes are kind of like the medium kind of a smell. That's going to like transition from the top notes. So again, like I said, from the citrusy to kind of like the umbrella term of sandalwood smell, that's what I mean. So you're going to get past like the very sharp opening of a citrusy kind of a smell. And you are going to get into like a wood smell. Like I said, like pine trees, like the umbrella term sandalwood, like walking into like a really old wooden structure and just smelling wood. Like that is what the heart note is. That one is basically like they say the heart of the fragrance. And that most of the time is what the fragrance is. Like, people will say, like, oh, after this, you kind of, like, you're left with this. Or sometimes there are fragrances that are just very linear, and it's the same smell throughout, which is somewhat of the case with fragrances like Alien and Aqua de Joya, where I think it's just mixed very well and mixed very articulately and kind of meticulously 
where it's like that is the scent that we like and that is the scent that is just gonna stay and i do think this becomes one of those smells because i feel like the top note is kind of again overlooked and missed and it's just like oh that's refreshing you know and it kind of gets into the sandalwood and like i say i think that's where they played it savers like let's just have this like sandalwood smell and that's kind of it you know like nothing too like changing up on like our customers and such base notes again muskwoods incense oak moss again if you've ever smelled incense like the stick just like before burning it like never been burned that is the smell that i am talking about oak moss and such i think with the muskwood is just something that just adds into the heart note again like it's kind of like easing into the fragrance but again as you get from like those mandarin and those grapefruit citrusy smells and you get into the wood you're basically going to smell like sandalwood for the rest of the time like i said that clean linen clean linen smell that patchouli gingery kind of a smell and potent jasmine are kind of like gone but they're still around i'm not saying completely like top notes disappear or dissipate again like i said they can linger, they can come up and down, you know, just dependent on the weather and such and when you wear it. Your body type, how it mixes with your own body chemistry, again, will always play into any kind of a fragrance you wear. And also, if you do use, like, body lotions that are the fragrance itself, or shower gels, and of course, for men, if you do use, like, the post-shave balm or, like, the shave lotion and such like that, you know, that also plays as well as the deodorant. And I guess a deodorant spray, because sometimes the deodorant spray is kind of, like, are not only concentrated but they will kind of like scatter around you and i would say that is equivalent to almost like the body spray versions of women's fragrances and some men's fragrances that i do see popping up here and there but of course it's kind of like a deodorant spray but because it comes around it's kind of like acts where it kind of can become a body spray last minute if you don't want to keep you know spraying this fragrance now getting into longevity of this fragrance i would say we are seeing for Dolce & Gabbana light blue, basically, I want to say seven hours. I want to say six and I want to say eight, but I do think that is playing it too safe and playing it too long. And I say seven because I feel like it doesn't last completely for like a good work day, so to speak. Like, you know, like when I used to go to school, I know it wouldn't be completely there at the end of the day and like, you know, that'd be... Of course, sometimes like a 12, 16 hour day, but like specifically from like when school starts to when school is over, the scent was pretty much gone and had evaporated and such. Again, I live in Texas, so it is really hot. <laughs> it's like 100 degrees and such. Um, but I think if you live in like more humidity places, like if you are like in LA and stuff where the scent will probably sell the most and it may become a staple in those demographics, I do think the scent will wear off just a little bit more just because you know it's humid, body temperature, you know the air around you, it's very thick. You have the salt water air and it may mix in and some people may kind of overlook it. Like they'd be like, oh, you have a more perfumey version of it, but it's like something they're already used to just because of where you live and like relativity to like the ocean, relativity to like other certain beach smells and like sandalwood smells you know stuff like that but i do think the use of incense in here will kind of separate it and like make you stand out amongst other kind of typical scents kind of like the jennifer aniston where you do have that like sandalwood smell but i do think like there is like a small touch of floral perfuminess to it where i do think this can also be like a home scent like if you do look at this i feel like this would be a screw off top and you put sticks in here for like I think a raid diffuser, so to speak. Um, getting back to the longevity, I do say seven hours. I think that is playing it safe, where it's not like your nine to five kind of like scent, where it's gonna like last, you know, and like last longer. I don't truly believe it ever lasted me like forever, because I know I would have to reapply it from time to time. And also, even now, it hasn't truly become a scent that I'm reaching for, even though it is the summer, it is this. I find myself reaching for something like Aqua de Joya, Jennifer Aniston just because they do have like almost like a more florally airy or fresher smell and I know Aqua de Joya for me lasts basically the whole day almost on me which is kind of comparable to Alien and I really feel like those two will probably be the two fragrances that last like entirely long that I know not only I smell them but other people like oh there's like something there like I can smell you you know Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue I feel like People will smell you, but I think, like, it will either mix in too well with your body chemistry, where it kind of just, like, disappears, or it may mix in too bad, where it's kind of, like, something smells a little bit off, you know? It's never happened with me, specifically with this fragrance, 
but I know some people will kind of be like, eh, about it. And then, of course, also if you spray it on your clothes or not, that does play into the longevity of the fragrance. Now, Silage, which is how strong it is when you spray it. Of course, any fragrance will be very strong when you first spray it. This one, I think for the first 15 minutes, you are going to overlook the citrusy notes. You're going to be like, hmm, it kind of smells like sandalwood, kind of a smell, and like a sandalwood and like something fresh and like airy. You will kind of have that scent very, very, very potently. First 30, I think after 20, 25 minutes, it'll wear. After 30 minutes, I do think the top notes are kind of like, they play their part and so they introduce the fragrance to you. And then as you get into the heart and base notes, which again is that umbrella term sandalwood, where it's going to be a sweeter sandalwood, it's not going to be too sharp. It's not going to be too airy, not too light. It's just going to be, I think, a perfect blend, a perfect mix to kind of just... A little bit heavy but not too heavy but it's kind of you know there I think that scent is basically the whole rest of your day the whole life of the fragrance so to speak so I said you do have a very good introduction of like the citruses and those do transition very well into the heart and base notes but again I think if you think about the life of Dolce & Gabbana light blue for men I really do think the umbrella term sandalwood fragrance will play a really big role in this and also if you have smelled this fragrance if you do own this fragrance, tell me if you do believe that it kind of smells like sandalwood, but when you hear incense, and if you've ever smelled incense out of the box, I think that is kind of the smell of it. So, like, if you can kind of think of a mix between your usual kind of a sandalwood men scent and, like, incense just smelling the stick again, not burnt, just fresh out of the box, you are going to get that very distinct mixture of the scent. And that's why I say I never truly thought of incense. And I think that's why I was like, this smells kind of like sandalwood, but there's always something to it that I was always like, you know, like there's something like that's like throwing it off, you know, like it's not truly a sandalwood smell. Which is why, again, I mentioned Britney Spears' fantasy because I do say, even though Britney Spears' fantasy is very sweet and it's very like distinct and unique and everybody, like, that's Britney Spears' fantasy. When people do recognize the pink pepper smell, I think when you tell other people like, never thought of that. And then like once you smell it, it's kind of like you can't smell that so it's like something you see you can't unsee so silage back to it how strong it's going to be again very strong when you first spray i think citrusy sandalwood smell and i think it kind of stays moderate for maybe three hours and then after three hours three and a half hours it'll kind of start you know wearing off and as with jennifer aniston i do think it will become kind of a closer to skin scent not entirely a close to skin scent because as you pass by people or as people get a little bit near you, not exactly like face to face and such, but like maybe three people away, they will smell the fragrance kind of like remains on you. And then as they get closer, again, it'll intensify, you know, the closer you are to a source, the more intense it will be. But I do think it's not going to truly disappear again until like seven hours that so you're going to notice like, hmm, maybe it will reapply so overall i do think you kind of stay for the life of the fragrance a sandalwood smell mixed in with that incense smell the citruses are there but they're going to be very well overlooked as the pink peppery kind of note that you get in britney spears's fantasy again you kind of just get that standard sandalwood smell that we're all used to seven hours i think the fragrance lasts a very long time and gives itself off from your body very well but again i think three people around you max and i think that's kind of overreaching will smell it on you and they'll smell it off of you and then again it'll at the end of the day like it'll start getting closer to skin scent again with any fragrance it'll start wearing off the strength of the fragrance itself will wear off and such and then it kind of just goes away and i do think it'll become like then a skin scent where someone like Kind of smells your neck if you're getting like a little bit intimate or something like that i do think that's when they will smell it i do think that is like kind of the test of like how well mix with your body chemistry and again if you do use the shape bombs like the deodorant sprays the deodorant um shower gels and such and if they do have like i feel like i have seen it but it could be wrong like a dolce gabbana light blue shampoo of course like that smell will linger and it'll intensify because it's basically layering the same scent over and over and over of course the scent does take on different forms of its own unique smell and different consistencies and different kind of, I guess, suspensions. Like if it is like in a shampoo, body wash, 
it is going to have the smell of the fragrance, but it's always going to smell like soap, you know? Like, there's always going to be that underlying soapy smell. And then as you get into the lotion, sometimes, like, the top notes will come out, like, a fruitier note, or, like, the citrusy notes in here, like the mandarin and such. And the sandalwood won't completely be there, and, like, the sandalwoods kind of come in between the standard, like, cold cream smell and just a plain old lotion smell, you know? I probably want to say, like, a Vaseline, but I don't really know. But I'd probably say maybe something like baby lotion, like that powdery kind of a smell, I think is what you'll get from it. Not completely, but like in a sandalwood form, like a sandalwood baby powder smell, I think that's how it would smell like a lotion or the post shave balm. But I do think this is a very nice scent. I do think it lasts a good while, you know. Something you'll probably reapply twice, maybe three times if you wanted to. Don't really think so. I do think this scent, again, is kind of perfect for summery springy days you know of course if you're traveling by the beach and stuff i do think this would be one of those scents that you're like hmm, you know like the scent is going to be like you know obviously a good scent to wear um but i do think you can wear this like business wise and such i mean i wear fragrances whenever and for whatever reason i don't care what season and stuff but of course helping my guys out there who are kind of very meticulous and like when they want to wear a specific fragrance just giving you ideas i do think this is a casual fragrance and i do think this is a very dressed up fragrance for the business setting so like if you have like you know like your suit and tie and such and you know you're kind of like in an office setting I do think you can wear this fragrance in the summertime and I do think like you know if you have like blue jeans and a white t-shirt so to speak I do think you can rock this fragrance that'll kind of give you that more luxurious step up to your game in your apparel where it'll be like hmm, there's something about you where it's kind of like for girls adding a piece of jewelry to like a blue jeans and shirt kind of thing and that kind of just ups the look and such you know it's like little hints of like a detail so to speak that will kind of bring your whole look together and i think fragrances really do complement it so let's say with today's outfit choice obviously would i wear dolce and Gabbana light blue one not really because it one it doesn't really match anything of this what it does match is like kind of the gold bracelet and again my skin tone now if i did have more like a let's see if i do have my aphrodite shirt I usually reach for Aqua de Joya, but I mean, Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue for men will be in that one. That is in my Carly Rae Jepsen vlog. And I do think kind of like, I believe if you just think of colors that you see by the beach and the style of the shirts, you know, like polos and such, that you would wear to the beach or like a tank top that has specific colors that match the scent well and like textures and such, I do think this is something you want to mix into it. So like if you have Ray-Bans, you kind of like a, let's say a frosty blue tank top and like swim shorts I do think that scent will mix very well with like you know your kind of your outfit choices your color choices the palette the texture palette of course like the palette of the polos will kind of match like the palette texture of you know that greediness the sand kind of the rough smoothness of like the sandalwood smell and like the peppery kind of a smell and the citruses so that's why I do say with the frosted look of the bottle and like the sky blue cap, I do think there is a lot that can be played with this scent. And also looking at the fragrance itself, it does kind of have like an oil kind of a color to it. So again, seven hours, I do think you kind of get like a sandalwood smell consistently for about seven hours, you know, first 25, 30 minutes, you know, you're kind of going to just get a little bit of like that orangey kind of, you know, transition into that sandalwood smell. But I do think whole life of the fragrance you are going to get sandalwood scent to it and you may reapply it twice maybe three times if you know you want to again not going to truly last you like the whole day it's not going to be something that's going to like fill up a room so to speak unless it's a smaller room um but it will be a scent that people will i think be enjoyable they'll be used to and accustomed to and i do think it's something that a lot of people will appreciate and just something fresh and kind of just not too different but there is that one little thing that kind of makes like when you smell it unique kind of stand out which again would probably be the incense for me because again if you think of the smell of raw incense and like sandalwood you'd be like i never thought of that and again fabulous fragrance again the prices were like 54 66 82 and 115 i believe if i'm correct and again those are old tip prices again you can go to sephora and buy it you can probably go to walmart but again like dillard's macy's and such will have gift sets since it is getting closer to father's day so save your money and buy something worth more get your gifts of purchases and such and i believe that will be the end of the review 
again, if you want a giveaway and such like that of like the towel or whatever, I mean, just leave me a comment down below, like the video and such. And again, if you want to see a 100 subscriber giveaway and such, I will think about like doing like a little goodie basket, so to speak, and such. And I don't know, if you want to see a men's fragrance, please tell me down below if you want to see more men's fragrance reviews. And if you are a man who has subscribed to me, please, of course, tell me. I will review those because I have seen myself trying to get into that more, you know, because I feel like I always review women's fragrances, which, I mean, I have no problem doing. But, I mean, if you guys want to see men's fragrances, because I do sometimes see men are kind of, like, trying to figure out what scent to wear. And I think trying to help you guys in my descriptions will help you, you know, pick out a fragrance that you're like, hmm, you know, I kind of like the way it smells. Let me go smell it again. Tell me in the comments how you perceive the fragrance and what you think it smells like, and also go through some of my perfume collection reviews and such, and any perfumes that I may bring up here or whatever that you do want to see review, again, tell me everything in the comments down below. Follow me on social media. Mr. Robot Season 2 comes out July 13th. Any other information I get about Season 2 and such, I will kind of try to put into these videos, you know, once in a while here and there, and again, prepare for um, episode recaps. Those will be, like, weekly every time it premieres. Hopefully... It is still premiering on Wednesdays. I don't know. It may seem like it may be a longer season just because of the later almost, I think, less than a month, almost like two to three week difference as opposed to season one premieres of June 24. But again, we will look into that and like, of course, South by Southwest and any other things that will come with the season two premiere of Mystery Robot, anything that has leaked up into it. And again, I want to say hi to Rami Malek. Stay safe and God bless. And I am Rami Malek. Love still chewing gum on us, so. He smells like this. I want a piece of that. <laughs> so, hi to Rami Malek. Stay safe and God bless you guys. That was my review on Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Men. So again, tell me anything you want to see reviewed next. And hi to Rami Malek.